welcome to Teacher Feature. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you today. This is Ira Klein uh, about your workshop, uh, Gateway to Country Blues Finger Picking, which is happening on August 23rd uh, from noon to 1.30, and that's going to be um, a really good time. So, Ira, how did you come to the guitar? How did you find the guitar? What, what brought you there? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me, first of all. Um, so the first time I think I ever encountered a guitar player who caught my attention was when I went to this regional music program in Jerusalem, where I'm from originally. And I was 12 years old. I didn't know a lot about music or the guitar, but I just felt something, something really special there. So I just followed it instinctively and I never stopped. <laughs> Very cool. Um, How did you find the country blues? So I moved in fall 17. Uh, I moved here to Boston to study um, at Berkeley College of Music. And I met Paul Rochelle, who's a wonderful musician. And if you don't know him, please check out his music. Him and Annie Raines are great ambassadors of blues music. And have performed actually many times at the scene and um, are dear members of the community at Berkeley. And, you know, the Boston folk scene. Yeah, Paul and Annie are wonderful. I love them. <laughs> yeah, I love them so much. So I just ran into Paul. You know, I was walking down the hall and I ran into this really cool guy and just started talking. And honestly, I didn't know a lot about blues at all, but um, he was such a great resource for me and really, I think, changed the way that I'm thinking about music making and the meaning and exposed me to a lot of blues music. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So a chance encounter with Paul Rochelle. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, he's so full of knowledge. I'm, right. you know, that, that looks incredible. Um, so can you tell me some of the concepts you're going to be working on in your workshop? Yeah, so this workshop, I think, can benefit um, players of any style who have some interest in learning about this music and about the guitar styles. And there are many different blues guitar styles. Some people uh, like to look at it originally. Some people like to look at it in terms of just the artists. It really depends on you know, how you're hearing the music. Um, but I think one of the things that is most essential and common to all styles is this idea of almost like when you have, you know, a stride piano player and he has the left hand and the right hand. Um, the same thing applies to the guitar with a lot of the blues, country blues players. So, you know, if you're talking about, you know, right? So I have the melody. like my right hand on the piano and on the left hand I have and you know it may sound simple but it's actually a major technical leap to get to do those two things simultaneously so I think you know for this workshop um, the main concept that we're going to cover is a very gradual journey to get there. So we're going to start with, you know, learning those two separate hands, one being the thumb and one being, you know, the fingers in the right hand, and then slowly combining them, you know, starting with a very simple, just like I played. And then slowly. So, you know, I'm adding a bunch of fillers, but the basic concept is what I really want to give the students. And for me, it's been an incredibly powerful tool uh, because it's really the engine behind this music. And there are so many different ways to explore that and to express that, you know. Um, and that's something that I think is really essential. You know, no matter what you 
want to do with this uh, music. You know, we're all, not all of us are going to become Paul Rochelle <laughs> and play blues music, you know, for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a very, um, a very powerful tool to have, that engine, you know, that keeps mm -hmm. the music going. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, that That's so great. It's, finger picking is such a, I mean, I, I come at it as a, a bluegrass guitar player and it seems so mystical. There's so many things going on. So having that breakdown of, okay, this is the bass line and then you add the melody, that's so helpful. And I feel like a lot of our students will, will love that. And I think you'll you'll really open up a whole world to them um, through the so, Yeah. I'm really exciting. I'm really excited about it because I think that, you know, um, the way it worked for me at least, the simpler the method, um, the easier it is to grow. Mm -hmm. So again, this is a very introductory uh, workshop. It's a one-time thing, but I think the gift that we can give to the students is to have that grounding. And I'm also going to speak about right hand in general, which is, you know, it's as you just mentioned, for a lot of people who come from other styles where they play, you know, mostly based on playing with the peak mm -hmm. or playing some kind of, you know, um, kind of like a free form um, strumming with the right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of just basic, you know, how to use the thumb, how to use the fingers and why. Because all of those things have a certain reason and we can talk about it and ground that in the physical and sonic reality. Very cool. Um, well, thanks so much for joining me, Ira. I've got one more question for you. Yeah, uh, sure. What album have you been listening to uh, during the quarantine time? Of course, yes. I've been listening to an album by, a lot to an album by Jenny Scheinman. She's a wonderful fiddler. Uh, I think she's originally from Texas. And she's lived for a long time in New York City. And it's an album called Here on Earth. It's all her original music. And I just think it's a wonderful album. It's very, very uh, steeped in the old time sound. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's contemporary. It's got electric guitar. Um, it's got some cello going on. And yeah, I really hope to catch her live someday. I hope she comes to the scene. Very cool. Uh, so, uh, what was her name again? Jenny. Jenny. Scheinman. Scheinman. All right. Yeah. I'll have to check that record out. Thank you so much, Ira. Uh, would you mind playing us a tune? Yeah, of course. So, I'm just going to play what I played before Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton. this game. I think it's great and it really shows some of the concepts we're going to work on. So I'm so excited to meet, you know, anyone who's interested to learn about this music. I love this music and thank you and thank you to Pasim for giving me the chance to work with some new students. Thank you so much, Ira, for joining me and for putting on this workshop. Everybody, this is Ira Klein. He's teaching a wonderful workshop called Gateway to Country Blues Finger Picking, and that's going to happen on Sunday, August 23rd at noon. Uh, tickets are available right now, so just go to passim.org slash classes, and you'll be able to see Ira's class along with all of our fall semester uh, that's now on sale. So um, hope to see you at the workshop. Thank you, Ira. Thank you so much, Rachel. I'll see you soon.